Today I'm going to quickly explain how you can improve your ping and fix packet loss in Season OG so you can get as close to zero ping as possible which will set you up for some easy eliminations. So drop a like if it helps out and subscribe for more videos like this one. First up I've got some lower ping tricks. You want to restart your modem or router by unplugging it for 30 seconds and after that simply plug it back in as a simple restart can fix many common connection issues. You then want to make sure you you're using an Ethernet cable and not wireless as a connection because Ethernet will significantly lower your ping and as for cables I wouldn't recommend CAT7 or CAT8 instead you should just use a CAT5E or CAT6 as they're good enough. Along with that you also want to position your router or modem in a ideal location. The best place to position is up high, centrally located and without any sort of obstructions in the way. Next we're going to update our network drivers via head over to the desktop, going to the bottom left on the start menu, inside type in device manager, then click on the first one. You then want to locate network adapters and you want to find your main internet connection or of your ethernet connection. You'll see it should be the first one and it'll have some sort of brand like mine right here is Intel. And what we we'll want to do is right click on it and simply click update driver. You can then search automatically for drivers and if you're on the latest one you'll see it right here. If not it'll give you one to download. Alternatively you can google the latest then your brand of connection network driver. And then the first link right here should be the one. If you just click on it you'll see it'll be the brand of your network driver and mine is obviously Intel. From there you want to make sure the latest is the most up to date latest one right here and then from there you can scroll down and find the one specifically for your PC spec so if you're on Windows 10 you'd obviously get a Windows 10 one and if you're on Windows 11 you'd obviously get a Windows 11 one. Once you've downloaded your network driver you need to unzip it via right clicking on it and clicking extract all and once extracted you can go ahead and run the exe to update your network driver. Next we're going to configure the best network settings via going back into the device manager going down to network adapters finding your main Ethernet connection, right clicking on it and clicking on properties. Inside the properties under power management, you firstly want to uncheck allow this device to wake the computer, uncheck that one and then above that you want to uncheck allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You then want to go under advanced and you want to copy my exact settings. For the enable PME you want to make sure that that is disabled, by default it is enabled and then just under it under energy efficient ethernet, by default that's turned on but you want to make sure it's off slash disabled. From there we can and scroll down to the bottom where we've got these four settings at the bottom right here you want wait for link on auto detect wake on link settings disabled by default it's on forced i believe wake on magic packet you want that disabled as well and then finally you want wake on pattern match to be disabled as well don't forget to click ok after next we're going to change our dns server as this is something epic games even recommend the state that switching your dns can result in better connectivity and performance for your internet connection and they actually recommend using google's dns or using cloudflare's dns to do that you want to open up your windows settings and go under network and internet you then want to scroll down slightly where it says change adapter options you want to make sure to click your main ethernet connection it should be the first one then inside here you want to click on properties you then want to look for something called internet protocol version 4 or ipv4 make sure this is ticked then go into its properties and here is where we're going to tick this box right here called use the following dns server addresses and this is where you can put in any dns of your choosing now i'm going to use google's one which is 8888 eight, eight, eight on the first line and then it's 8, 8, and then 4, 4 on the secondary line. After you've put in your custom DNS, you want to click OK, then close. To find out which DNS server is best for you, I recommend Googling DNS Benchmark, clicking on the first link, which will be the Gibson Research Corporation, and simply downloading this application right here. When you've downloaded and searched it up, you'll see that it'll find the best DNS server for you and your connection. It'll basically show you which one will give you the lowest ping. In addition to that, you can also open the CMD and type in ping, then the DNS server of your choice, and I'm going to use the Google one. It'll run a little scan, as you can see right here, and it'll be followed up by showing the ping. So the minimum is 17ms, 
maximum 19 ms and the average is 17 which i'm really happy with from there you can go back in and put in whichever dns server works best for you after that though you want to head back into the cmd and you want to type in this command right here that's ipconfig space slash flush dns and once you've run that it'll successfully flush your dns resolver cache moving on from that i highly recommend that you install a ad cleaner of any type and once inside you want to go ahead and run a scan and what this will do is it'll look for any potential threats any viruses adware anything that could potentially be hogging your network and you can see here that after scanning some stuff will be detected and these could be responsible for your higher ping so getting rid of these or rather quarantine them could help you out a ton so it's something i highly recommend doing next we're going to configure our epic game settings on the desktop press the windows key plus r inside here type percentage sign local update a percentage sign then want to find the epic games launcher folder go into saved go into config and inside windows you want to locate the engine.ini file once inside it may be blank or it might have some outdated code just delete everything then paste in these commands right here that's http and portal.build patch then click on file and save and this code right here is recommended by epic games and you can see how it benefits you on screen right now after that you want to open the epic games launcher then go to the top right corner and click on your little picture then go down to settings then in settings under preferences i recommend using these settings right here you don't want to use a proxy and you do not want to throttle downloads also make sure that the desktop notifications are disabled as these can cause ping spikes when they do appear but finally if you scroll down to the bottom under Fortnite, you may already have some inside but what you can add is an additional one called limit client ticks and epic games claim that this may fix your packet loss i myself i don't get packet loss so i'm not going to use that command in itself but if you do you probably should use it as epic games have recommended it may help you after that in library you want to click the three horizontal dots click on options and inside the install options if you go to the bottom where it says disable cosmetic extreme min you can go ahead and enable this as what this does is it installs all the cosmetic streaming assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay you can see it does cost a fair amount of gigabytes but it's definitely worth it if you are having any sort of connection issues just don't forget to click apply after next up we're going to configure some secret in-game settings then under game if you scroll down to the bottom under where it says replays i highly recommend turning off record replays all of them should be off unless you are some sort of content creator or you do use them for like VOD reviews and stuff like that. I think this will benefit your connection a ton as it's not recording your game. Also under account and privacy, I highly recommend turning off player surveys. And in addition to that, these are optional, but you can turn off text chat as well as public game stats. But that right there has been a short tutorial on how you can lower your ping in Fortnite season OG. If it helped out, feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also feel free to use my code in the item shop to help me out a turn. Finally, be sure to check out any of my other videos on screen. That's all for now. Catch us in the next one. Peace.